Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today's code on the chopping block is P0300. Random or multiple cylinder misfire, this means your engine isn't firing on all cylinders, causing rough idling, power loss, and that nagging check engine light. Don't worry, we can tackle this together. Simply put, a P0300 co indicates multiple cylinders are misfiring. Unlike a single cylinder, misfire code, P0300 points to a problem affecting the entire engine, not a specific cylinder. Tools you will need, basic toolkit wrenches, screwdrivers, spark plug gapper, replacement spark plugs consult your owner's manual for the right type. Optional, compressed air, spray bottle with cleaner. While we can't pinpoint the exact culprit with this code, we can narrow it down. Here are the usual suspects. Spark plugs, worn out or fouled spark plugs are a common cause. Wheel checked air, condition and gap. Ignition coils, faulty coils can disrupt the spark delivery. We'll do a visual inspection for damage or leaks. Vacuum leaks, air leaks mess with the air fuel mixture, causing misfires. We'll listen for hissing sounds around the engine. Pop the hood and locate your spark plugs. Consult your manual for the exact location. Use a wrench to remove the spark plug wires. Unscrew the spark plugs with a socket wrench. Check the condition of the spark plugs. Look for cracks, excessive wear, or fouling dark buildup. Use a spark plug gapper to ensure the gap matches your car's specifications. Refer to your manual if the plugs are bad or out of spec, replace them with new ones. Ignition coils are usually located on top of the spark plugs. Check the coils for cracks, all leaks, or corrosion. If a coil looks damaged, clean or replace it with a new one. With the engine running, listen for hissing sounds around the intake manifold A. Large component near the engine block. You can also use a spray bottle with soapy water. Spray suspected leak points. If bubbles form, you found your leak. Important note, these are basic fixes. If the problem persists, it could be due to faulty sensors, fuel injector issues, or even a bad catalytic converter. In those cases, consulting a mechanic is recommended. Wrap up by checking your spark plugs, ignition coals, and for vacuum leaks, you can often diagnose and fix AP030 code yourself. Remember, Consult your car's manual and prioritize safety when working under the hood. If the problem is beyond your skill set, don't hesitate to take your car to a trusted mechanic. Thanks for joining me. If this video helped, leave a thumbs up below. And if you have any questions about PO300 or other car troubles, leave a comment and I'll do my best to help. Until next time, keep your engine purring.